Hi, I'm Bourbon Harris, President and CEO of Renaissance Youth Center. I want to give you guys a tour. Come on, let's check it out. Okay, we are now in the lobby. We're gonna come on through. We're gonna mask up. And here we have the office. Hey, Christian, just wave and say hello. And here are our first level of students, our first scholars. Come on in. Let's see our kinders. All right. Hey, guys. How are you? Good. You're good? All right. I just want to see how smart you guys are. So what is this behind me? What am I looking at? Animals. Animals? Okay. So uh, what animals am I looking at? What is, what is, what is this? An elephant. Elephant. What's that? Lion. What is that? A gorilla? And what can you tell me about any of these animals? Can anybody tell me something? Yes. My name is Alea and elephants eat bark, berries, peanuts, and grass. Ah, we know that they love peanuts, right? We go to the circus, they eat what? Peanuts all the time. Yes, what's your name? Keisha Martinez and a fun fact about lions are carnivores. Lions are carnivores. They are. That's a great fun fact. Thank you. Yes. I learned about my name is Kimberly Sanchez and I learned about that lions eat meat. Lions eat meat. Rawr. Is that the sound they make? Rawr. Rawr. Who, who goes oink 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 oink? Pig. That's a pig, right? That's not the lion. What do we have over here? Animals. Animals. More animals. This is beautiful. In their natural habitat. Nice. So I see a, uh, what's that? A frog. What's that? A dolphin. What's that? A dog. A dog. Who? A dog. Is that a pumpkin? No, that's a dog. Oh, that's a duck. That's a duck. Oh, and what's that? A giraffe. A giraffe. They have short necks, right? Yeah. No, no giraffes have long, long. Yes, they have long necks. Good. What's that? A gorilla. A gorilla? Yeah. Okay. Is that a silverback gorilla? That's a bear. Yeah. That's a, oh, okay. That's a bear? I am so proud of you guys. Bye. <laughs> yep, that's the cameraman. All right, cameraman, let's go. Look at all these wonderful books we have here in the center. These are the one things that kids can run away with I don't get so upset about. So they borrow the books, they take them with them. And then we have our next room, which is our computer room. This is our computer lab. In this room, we do some video editing, some video production. Um, of course, kids do tutoring. Um, and here are all of our boosters of different colleges. So if you watch this video and your college is not up there, we wanna make sure that we add you to the wall. Let's go check out the next room. Yeah, come on, come on, let's take a walk. This is the great wall. Right, so on this wall here, we have all the different people that have come into the program. We have parents, we have elected officials, people from the MWAM band, basketball players. Um, you can actually look at this wall and spend a lot of time, a lot of memories are on this wall. All right, come on, let's go upstairs. This is Mount Renaissance, our famous volcano. It's due for its next eruption, I believe, on May 31st. So you don't want to miss that. We had fun doing that play, Bronx Side Story. Come on, there's more stuff up here. This right here is the STEM department. This whole floor is all about STEM. I'm coming, guys, I'm coming. Our first stop is gonna be zoology room. Let's check it out. Look at it, got birds and uh, 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 uh. Yeah. And let's see who's in here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, you guys look amazing with your nice lab coats on. Look at this nice light, it looks beautiful. All right, so which class is this? Yes? It's the zoology room. Zoology room, very good. And what does zoology mean? Yes? Zoology means the study of animals. The study of animals. So what do we mean when we say territorial? We know community means to live together. What does territorial mean? that fish that don't like to share their space or their food. Nice, right, they like to fight for their space. And what do we have 
have here? And yes. The bearded dragon. The bearded dragon, right. Okay, what can you tell me about the bearded dragon? Anybody? Yes. The bearded dragon got its name is because if you look closer, you can see little spikes on its chin. And if you if you see a, an average human's face, if they have a mustache, you would see that they're there is also some spikes on their chin. Like me, right? Does that make me a bearded dragon? No. Okay, 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 I'm just checking. All right, what kind of tree is this? Everybody. The great white oak tree. The great white oak tree. What kind of tree is that? All together. The pine tree. Fantastic. Who can tell me how long a great white oak tree lives? Yes. How long? Can I have some help from a colleague? Oh, she asked for help from a colleague. Yes. Colleague. 800 years. 800 years. How long does the pine tree live? Yes. 1,200. Right, 1,200. Man, you're so smart. Wow, good stuff. On this side of the room, we got more stuff, right? We have, what is this? And yes. Ooh, nice. What's the difference of a tortoise and a turtle? Who knows that answer very well? Yes. That the tortoise lives on dry land and the turtle lives in aquatic, aquatic areas. Right, the tortoise lives on dry land. I heard you don't even have to give them water, right? And we have in here hiding, what, what do you have in these tanks? Yes. You know the name of the hamsters? Syrian hamsters. Wow. Are they mean? No. They're nice? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and what do we have here? Hello. And yes. The cockatiels. The cockatiels. Can they talk? No. Hello, class. Hello. Mr. Harris, I haven't seen you in a while. Yes, this is a pretty smart class, isn't it? Back up, Mr. Harris, the breath stink. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. All right, cool. And this look, this is a pair of shoes or a belt. Somebody left their belt in here. What is this? <laughs> yes. What is that? Yes. That is the ball python. Ball python, snake. In there, I see something that looks like plastic. What is that? Yes. Um, it's oak skin because the ball python Shed it, its skin. it sheds its skin. Wow, you guys are very, 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 very smart. Are those your teachers? Yeah! Can we, can we give your teachers a hand? All right, let's continue our tour. All right, fantastic, guys. All right, so now we're gonna walk into this room, and this room is our agriculture room. Let's come on, let's go check it out. Oh, wow, look at all of these guys. They're busy doing something over here. First of all, this room is so beautiful. Look at this place. All right, okay, so somebody's gotta talk to me first. All right, you have some stuff in the soil. This is in water, and I see fish in there. And then you got this big space machine. What, what, what do we call planting like this? What is this called? Yes? That's called soil-based planting. Soil-based planting, because it's in the soil. Duh, that makes sense, right? What do we call this one here? Yes. Aquaponic. Aquaponing. So why are there fish in there though? Because we use the fish poop as a fertilizer for the plant. You use the fish poop as fertilizer. Yeah. No, isn't that a great idea? All right. So what's the space machine? What is hydropon? Hydropon. What does that mean? What is this happening here? Hydropon is planted plant and water. So it's just water in there. The water circulates, right? And then you guys are giving it, what kind of light is this? Yes. Um, so, I'm not sure, but it looks like a UV light also. UV light, UV light, and you are, you are right on point, and you have more plants behind you. So, you guys are good teachers. I think what you've taught me, is this soil-based planting here? Yes. Great, so what are some of the stuff you're growing here? Um, some of the stuff that I'm growing, that we're growing is some cilantro, mm -hmm. some red flower, mm. spinach, some dill, some arugula in this row, mm. milk mix in this row, and mm. then some lettuce in this row. Nice. And then we are also growing 
plenty of cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Here, 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 and here. And then this is some garden cloves. This is fennel. This mm -hmm. is lavender. You better go, girl. This is parsley. This is as well. This is spinach as well. Mm -hmm. This is broccoli. This is also cucumber. This is wildflower. This is skyscraper sunflower. And mm. this is sweet melon. Woo! Man, so so did you guys plant these from from seeds, or you bought them as plants? Like, where did you get them from? We actually planted them from seeds. You planted them from seeds. This is absolutely amazing. So I heard that you guys did a harvest here, and you ate your own vegetables. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Tell me about that. What was that like? What did you guys eat? Yeah. So we made some kale chips. Kale chips. Yeah. Really. I'm lying, I had some, they were delicious. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but tell us about it. So what we do first, we harvest it, and then we put it on the micro, on the toaster. Mmm, in the toaster, and then you season it? Yeah. Yeah, it was good, because it was really good. And it was very fresh, and you grew it right here, you cooked it right here, the whole nine. You guys also made salad one day, right? What was in the salad you guys ate? Anybody, yeah. Tomatoes, tomatoes, yes. What else? Beet lettuce. You had lettuce? What kind of lettuce? Beet lettuce. Oh, okay. And the other type of lettuce we harvested was gourmet lettuce. Gourmet lettuce. You guys are amazing. So let me ask you a question. What's the best thing you love about this class? Yes. That we study plants. You study plants. Great. What's the best thing you love about this class? The best thing I love about this class is that we're not afraid to get dirty and that I like and to grow plants. Nice. What's the best thing you love about this class? I don't have a, like all. You don't have a best thing. You like all of it, right? I know. I, I know that's what you was gonna say. I got you. First of all, you guys did a beautiful job. You and your look at this. Can you, are you capturing this on camera? What kind of tree is this? Yes. That is a weeping willow tree. A weeping willow tree. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, and your teachers are right behind you. Come on, teachers. Get in this shot. You guys did a very good job. You should be so proud of your young people. Oh, my gosh. Wonderful. All right. Let's continue the tour. Let's go check out the next room. Great job, guys. We're now approaching architecture. All right, so they building, they building some stuff in here. So let's go walk in here and just check this out. I mean, the tour has been absolutely amazing. Wow, look at this room. Let's take, what's going on in here? Hey guys, how are you? Good. All right, all right, all right. What room is this? Architecture. Everybody together, what room is this? Architecture Hmm, nice, what does that mean? Yes. Architecture is like when you, this construct and design. Construct and design, I love that. I don't know where to start in this room because this is all pretty amazing. Let's walk this way, let's walk this way. Okay, um, you guys can see me, right? So it says Stone Age, and what do we call these? What do we call these round things? Like they look like, look like uh, brownies. Yes. We call those caves. These are caves, right? So this is where people used to live at, right? Do I see something on the walls inside of the caves? Yes. What's that? Now those are, those are. Those. Help from the colleague? Uh, yes. Great. Those were pyroglyphics. Pyroglyphics. Py what does that mean? Yes. Pyroglyphics are the Pictures to tell stories. Pictures to tell stories. I got it. So in caveman time, we had caves. We had pictures to tell stories. Are these cavemen? Yes. 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 Okay. And then we had, what, what are these called? Like these big things. Yes. We call them dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Do you guys know the name of any of these dinosaurs? What is this one called? Yes. This, this big one. Okay. That one right there. That's not a dinosaur. That's not a dinosaur. What is that? That's a, that's a woolly mammoth. That's a woolly mammoth. But it's not a dinosaur? No. Okay. What would it be? It would, it would be a type of elephant. It would be a type of elephant. Okay. All right. What do we call this? 
Anybody know? That's a tough one, I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's called a tour. Okay. All right. All right, so let's continue, let's continue, let's continue. So we have all these dinosaurs. There was a train set in the dinosaur times? No. No. So what is a train set? Oh, we'll come back to the train set later, because it's so confusing. All right, so we have the Stone Age. Then we have this, which is what? What are we calling this? Egypt. Yes. Egypt. Egypt, right? What do we call this right here? Yes. We call them pyramids. Pyramids. So pyramids are made in all different sizes. What's in the pyramids? Is it has a like, a, you eat this, is like a filling inside? Like, yes. Mummies. Mummies. So we don't want to eat a mummy, right? So mummies were buried inside a pyramid. We'll keep going. And what do we call this area? Yes. Ancient Rome. So is there anything you could tell me? Look, like, this is beautiful, but what is that? What is that? Yes. An aqueduct. An aqueduct. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Aqueduct. Aqua. Aqua. Aqueduct. A so what is, what, what is an aqueduct? What is that? Yes. Yes. It's an aqueduct. In the back. Mm -hmm. It's an aqueduct. Um, water from one to That's what it does? Wow. Didn't know that. What is this? Yes. A Colosseum. Colosseum. What happened in the Colosseum? And do, yeah. They used to fight to death. They used to fight to death. Okay, so let me get over here. Okay, so over here, I'm, I, I've heard about this. This project excites me. I'm gonna come back to that. Nah, let's start here right now. Let's go here right now. So, you got this ginormous, humongous fish tank. And I understand, here's a whiteboard here. You guys were given $1.2 billion, right? Is that a lot of money? Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of money. And then what did you do? Who can break the whole thing down for me? Who can tell me what this is all about? Yes, we you can start. Doing, uh, this, the, what we want and what we need. What you want and what you need to build a community, right? Yes. Uh, this is your want list here. Yes. Schools and police stations. This is what you, this is what you needed. This is what you wanted. Yes. I got you. How many people in your population? Yes. 50,000 people. How big of a space do you have? Anybody remember? Yeah. 10 miles. You got 10 miles, 50,000 people. Here's your wants list. Here's your needs list. What did you do after that? Yes. We started building something that's called the City of Atlantis. The City of Atlantis. Great. And before you started building it, you first did what? Yes. You first, we first um, made our own blueprint. Blueprint. So cameraman, I don't know if you can catch this. Here are some of the blueprints up here. There's some on the other side. So you guys had all your blueprints and that took a while to get, right? Yeah. To fit all of those places in there. Then after that, is this your model here? Okay, yeah. I get it. All right, so here's the final blueprint. And then you made that, size it to here. How awesome is that? And then what's gonna go here? Yeah. Modern society. Modern society. Okay. So we're gonna put the Bronx as a modern society, New York City, and then what does the world look like a hundred years from now, right? Cool. So tell me about the train. I'm, uh, who can tell me what the train is all about? I'm still confused about that. And yes. The train is for is for um for you to see all the ages, the Stone Age, the ancient Egypt, ancient Rome. Ah. And you could go to the through the Freedom Tower and you the whole room, and you could see the Twin Towers. Got you. So where's Freedom Tower going? So that's going to be Freedom Tower, right? And these are going to be your Twin Towers. Yes. I got you. So the train is going to go all the way around. You guys have been fantastic. Let me ask you a question. What do you like best about this class? Yes. Um, I really like about this class is we get to build a building or something that that's in the City, all those nice. What do you like best about this class? What I like best about this class is what we all did and how we all worked together. This is pretty amazing what you guys are building in here. What do you like best about the class? I like the blueprints because I like writing and drawing. Ah, what about you? What do you like best about the class? Um, I like best that we get to do a lot of hands-on projects. A lot of hands-on projects, okay. Listen, big ups to your teachers, give them a hand.
They prepared you well. You guys did not let me down. You were fantastic. And I can't wait to see when this is finished. All right, let's continue with the tour. Come on, Mr. Cameraman. Bye. See you later. Bye. Good job, guys. Watch your step, watch your step. All right, so now we're entering the land of, I'm in space. Gravity, no gravity as I float. I am now into, what room is this? Astronomy. What room is this? Astronomy. All right, great. Who can tell me what astronomy means? And yes. Astronomy is the study of the sky in the universe. The study of the sky in the universe. Okay, so what am I looking at here? Yes. The planets. The planets. This is called the solar Solar system, thank you, I, I was close. I know it sounds like solar system. And what is the shiny guy, who's that? Yes? The sun, can, who can tell me a fun fact about the sun? Something you know about the sun. Yes? The, the sun's actual color is all the colors that are mixed up together. Hush your mouth. So the sun isn't yellow? Nope. What? Okay, I got it. So that's the sun, and is the sun that much bigger than like other planets and Earth and stuff like that? Is it really that big? It looks big right now. These look small. Okay, gotcha. So who can tell me the planets in the solar system? You got this? All right, talk to me. And point to them as you go. Got you. Now I get confused. I know two planets. I know Earth, because I live there, and they got the moon, right? That's the moon? Yes. Okay, is that a Christmas ornament? That's the moon? Yes. Right, okay. And I know Saturn because it's got this thing around it. What is that? What is that, yeah? Saturn's ring. Saturn's ring. What is that made of? Yes? Ice, dust, and rocks. Get out of here! Is it really ice, dust, and rocks? And it just keeps going on around, huh? Okay, so what's this on the wall? And yes. Some constellations. Constellations? Is, is this what we call the constellations? Yeah. So I, I was always taught that this is a the big yeah. dipper and the yeah. but it's called constellation. Yeah. All right, I gotta write that down. I'm learning so much today. All right, got it. Okay, cool. I got it. I understand. This is an amazing room. Okay, what can you tell me about the moon? Yeah. The moon is a astronomical body. Is what? The moon is a astronomical body. It's a astronomical body. Whoa! What? I don't even know what you said. I can't even get. What is he? What is he? Somebody paraphrase. Yes. The moon is a astronomical body. Uh huh. What does that mean? Yes. A astronomical body is a. It's an object that's in space. It's an object that's in space. Now, does the moon go around the Earth or the Earth goes around the moon? Did I confuse myself? Does the moon... Who goes around who? <laughs> yes. The moon goes around the Earth. The moon goes around the Earth. So Earth is doing this, and then the moon is doing that, right? That's interesting. I got it. Earth, moon. I got it. What do you like best about this class? Stars. All right, what do you like best about this class? Supernovas. Who? Supernovas. Supernovas, what's that? What's a supernova? I think when a star explodes and turns into a nebula, it's a supernova. Okay, okay, all right. I'll break that down for you guys later. All right, uh, what do you like best about this class? Yeah, we get to study like different planets and stuff. Nice, right? What do you like best about the class? What I like about this class is we're learning about new planets and, uh, and space. Now I'm gonna tell you something. I, I didn't know much about planets. I knew we had a I didn't know there were multiple solar systems, right? So in the hallway, you guys even found more planets and right? What's your favorite planet? Uh, I'm gonna say my favorite planet is Earth because we live there. Because we live there. Me, me too. Come on, come on, I, I like that too. What's your favorite planet? Saturn. Saturn. What's your favorite planet? Saturn. Saturn. Um, because Earth, because it has life. Y'all like Saturn because it got the ring around it? Yeah. I got a ring around my tub too, so I got you like, like my tub. All right, cool. Um, these are amazing counselors you have. Let's give it up to your counselors. 
You guys are just so smart. I understand that you're working on this room. We can turn the lights out and things glow. I can't wait to see what you guys are gonna do next. All right, now we're on the opposite side of the building. This is what we call the I Belong side, where we run our adult programming, as well as our offices. Come check this out. All right. So great, so on this wall here is where, in this space, we have our youth council, our I Belong. Uh, we have our offices as well, where we represent the precinct council. Um, we have these meetings here. This is where we had a, a speech took place with talking with police officers and teenagers in terms of why we don't get along. Uh, Sonia Sotomayor has been here. Oh my God, she's amazing. We love her to death. Um, Darcel Clark, we love her to death. Our Bronx DA. Um, this is from the slaughterhouse across the street where we see defecation and blood and stuff like that. Our teenagers got involved to help clean up this community. All right, so a lot of that happens in planning right here on this side of the building. Come check out some more stuff. Right. Say hello to Jerry. And say hello to Jeanette, the COO of Renaissance. Yeah. Okay. All right. And this is where I do all the work. Right here in this space. All right. And this is where the I belong space takes place. So we have a nice spread of food usually for dinner. We do speaking for our young adults, those who are formerly incarcerated, uh, maybe those who are in pens petitions, or those who are just struggling at home trying to get life together. So we meet here in this space. And some of these guys come with some pretty amazing quotes. I teach lessons like incorporate yourself, effective communication, but then they come up with things like, it's easier to destroy than it is to create. Uh, what else did they come up with? Uh, you have a choice to be a leader. You don't have a choice to be a role model. That's pretty powerful to come from young adults. Right behind there is a stage. So we do all the classes in here. They learn video editing, video production, we do a uh, recording studio here, and then we get on the stage, and everything that we learn, we try to do it in a performance space. Well, that concludes our tour, all right? Though I did the tour by myself, I am not alone here. We have four directors, 15 teaching artists, we have 28 youth counselors, we have a board, we have a junior board, we have an advisory board, and we're soon to start a community board. And we have tons of volunteers who help us get through the day. So if you would like to join and be a part of the Renaissance Youth family, please reach out to us through renaissanceyouth.org or hit me directly at Mr. Harris at Renaissance Youth. That concludes. Bye-bye. Y'all take care now here. Yeah? <laughs>